and hello everyone and welcome back to another video in today's video guys i'm going to be showing you what are p calls in roblox studio let's get right into it p calls also known as protective calls um they run functions without erroring so like it catches the error and it can provide you with the error or if it was successfully ran and that it will provide you with that so p call or protective calls like you say p call and you can say function or you can pass in your protective call, p call, and also pass in a local function. But I'm just gonna say p call function. And what are the use cases for for p calls? Because you don't want to use p calls just for scripts that randomly error, because obviously there's an error with that. But where would you want to use p calls is something like data stores, because data stores. If it fails, that is out of your reach. You cannot fix that because data stores, you know, that, that deals with Roblox servers. You cannot help if a data store fails or not. So you have to wrap that in a P call to make sure it works. So an example of that, and I just say, I'm just going to get local data store service is equal to game, get service, data store service. And then I'm going to get data store, a, a data store, get data store. Uh, I was going to say data store. So when the player joins the game, like game, not players, not player add a connect function. Just like that. And we get the the data when they join. Let, let, me, let me get some of this down. So when you have a leader stats in your game with like something like cash, and you want to get if the player has some saved data, well, you would want to wrap that in a p call so you could say local success comma error message because you know these different variables can uh will, will attach to the p call if it was a success or not so p call function and then you know you would like get the data i also did this in my data store video but data would be equal to data store get data store now I'll explain this in a second. So it's get data store. Oh, I'm doing the wrong thing. Sorry. Get data. Wait, what am I saying? I'm getting the wrong thing. Is data store get a sync? <laughs> Sorry. Player dot user ID. So what this is saying is it's trying to get the data from of a. It's trying to get the player's data from a data store. And so, else prints error message. So what's going on here is that when the player joins the game, it, um, it has the data set to nil so we can get it. And this p call has two things attached to it, success and error message. So if there was a success, it would send that. But if there was an error message, it, that would also send that to it. Because if you are unable to get it or a data store is down, like the Roblox servers, that is out of your reach you want to capture that error and so you, you want to be able to see that so right here we are trying to get it and if it was a success then we can see that and if it wasn't then we can also see that with the error message so another a, a useful case for p call now the next thing you can do is the starter gui set cores or set core ui gui enabled what this basically is is you can disable or enable the stuff you see on the core Roblox GUI. Stuff like backpacks and health, you can control that using the starter GUI set cores. Now, you want to use a P call just so you know. Again, this is kind of like an internal Roblox thing. You just want to know if you are able to see, like, say, the reset, use the reset button again. So, starter GUI is equal to game, guest service service starter gui and then you can then just say it's success because i don't really know if this would return an error message equals p call function protective call okay starter gui set core gui enabled and in here you can put enum dot uh core gui type and there's backpack health you can set all of it chat captures self view emotes menu player list you can set all of these. Here, let me make it so you guys can see this real quick. So, dot, 
Um, let me see. If you guys, can you guys see this? Um, let me. I think you guys can. Um, but we let me close out of this. Okay, so dots, and you guys can see yeah. So that we can set backpack health, all you know, all this stuff. We can set that. So let's say we don't want the player to, to see the health. Well, we can set that well as well. So let's say we don't want to see the the player list. And then after this, we can say um, if it's enabled now. So true or false. I'm just gonna say false so we uh, disable it. Then we can also check if success. Then so we get the success from the P call. And if it was a success, then it says uh, successfully removed player list and we can say else print couldn't remove player list that is very simple right you just see if it's a success or not and that's an easy way of uh, looking at that um, you can do this for like other stuff if it was a success but you wouldn't use a p-call just to let you guys know so if we do play the game we play the game and oh my bad, guys. Um, I'm doing this in a server script. It, since it started GUI, you want it to be in a local script. So local script, paste that. And yeah, let's run that again. So play. And it says successfully removed player list. And then when I press tab to open it, it does not open. Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear this. But I cannot open it. And I have this gun in my inventory just to show you guys the backpack feature as well. So local script and I say backpack. Play the game. It is no longer there. I cannot see my backpack. But if I actually go into my backpack, it is still there. I just can't see. I just can't see it right there because the backpack is not uh, enabled. So the overview of this, guys, P calls or protective calls are used for things that may or may not fail at certain times, um, and it is out of your reach to see if they do fail or not. So you want to be able to see that P calls, something like data source, they may occasionally fail because they are not 100% reliable. That's just how it is, um, and you can see if it was a success or not. So yeah, P calls are useful. If you guys did learn something from this video or you guys just enjoyed it, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.